Hi, and welcome to Footsteps and Tire Tracks. And you saw me in an earlier video today, which is actually going to be a later video. So it's a bit confusing because I filmed that before I filmed this. So you're confused, I'm confused. So I'm talking about the past when it's actually going to be your future. <laughs> We're Mark and V, and this is our adventures. Anyway, I want to talk to you about the EOS, so we're taking it for a drive out to the north coast. We bought the car a couple of weeks ago on the way home from Taunton, the uh, Van West show. And if you haven't seen the Van West show, if you uh, look up in a corner, I think it's that side, I'll put a link to the Van West so you can see that. And when we bought this car, we got it relatively cheap, I think, but it stank, absolutely stank. Of fags. So um, I've got a little trick that I use to clean car smells and I think I'll make a different video of that and I'll show you in a different video um, how I pretty much remove all the smells from a car straight away. Right you can actually hear me now. Sorry about that. So hopefully you heard what I was talking about and if you couldn't I think I'll probably end up overdubbing it but um, let's fingers crossed you'll be able to have heard that. Right, let's talk about the EOS. Um, th this car is a two litre DSG diesel. To drive it, it feels to me like a Golf. It's quite nice, it's compact. It's a standard like feel of a VW. The DSG box is quite responsive. If I put my foot down, you can feel it, it takes off really, really nicely. Now we're up to 80 mile an hour that quickly. I'll slow down a bit. It's to get the that's not even in the sports mode. <laughs> yeah, and it's not even in the sports mode, as we just said. So, um. But you'll demonstrate the sports mode later. <laughs> <laughs> when we're coming home in the dark, and I can't see where we're going. <laughs> Mark will have his eyes shut. <laughs> now, the car, the handling of the car feels really nice. It's, um, it goes around the corners perfectly well, just got standard tyres on here, standard alloys, nothing special about it, it's not been lowered, so it is standard ride height and probably 11 year old suspension because the car is 11 years old. I couldn't see anything in the um, receipts to say that it had new suspension, so the chances are it's 11 year old suspension, so it's driving quite well. The roof, well obviously we've got the roof down at the moment, with windows up, and you can hear how quiet it is. It's really um, a pleasure compared to the Beetle that we had before. When the uh, roof was down and that, there was quite a lot of noise. Whereas this is um, a lot quieter. We went to Columpton. We come back from Columpton down the M5, down the A30. It was really comfortable. It wasn't noisy. You don't feel like you've got to turn the uh, put the roof up the talk. You can have a conversation. I mean, I'm talking to you now. We're driving at um, 50, 60 mile an hour on average, and I'm talking to you, and it feels I can hear myself. Hopefully, you can hear me as well. The roof is op electrically operated, and it has to be put up and down while you're um, stationary. Although, there is a module apparently that um, allows you to do it while you're moving. Why you would why you would want to do it while you're moving on? Well, it's really expensive. It's really expensive. But it also allows you to put the roof down on the key fob. Ah, so that's probably why people want to do it. But it's, how much is it? About four hundred pounds? Did you yeah, say? Yeah, I think three hundred eighty pounds is the cheapest I could find it for. Okay. Well, if anybody wants to supply us one, we certainly will test it for them. Uh, we're quite happy to do that. Um, if that's something you would like to do. <laughs> I think if it was a newer car. You'd be, tempted to, You'd be tempted to spend the money. The roof operation, when we first got the car, was a bit um, stiff, I suppose, is the best way to describe it. It juddered a little tiny bit. So... A bit squeaky. A bit squeaky. I did a little bit of research and basically taught myself through watching a few of other people's videos um, how to do a roof service. And I've I've done a video on that as well, and that will follow this video. Maybe not straight away, but it will follow one of the following videos. Um, show you how to clean the roof, 
how I modified some of the um, things people were saying to clean the roof um, using special VW tools. I've come up with ideas on how to use um, tie wraps, thick tie wraps, instead of a, a VW tool, and that seems to have worked quite nicely. The roof's operating really, really well now. Obviously, having a convertible, a metal convertible roof, does affect the boot space. And with the roof down, there's very limited boot space. Actually, I would say the boot is as big as the Beatles boot. Even with the roof down? Even with the roof down, it's just, it's a li little bit more awkward to get things into it. So if you're doing your weekly shop, <laughs> you need to have um, slim bags. So no, yeah. it's a bottle of pizza, a bottle of pizza, a pizza and a bottle of bourbon. Well, you can do two pizzas and a bottle of bourbon width, and it will slide into the boot quite nicely. Well, there, we're happy then. We do start the engine when we're doing the uh, roof operation because we were warned that the batteries can uh, where uh, batteries can lose power very, very quickly because there's so much involved. It's like, it's like watching a transformer in op operation. It really is. If you've ever watched the movie Transformers, well, I'm absolutely positive that's where they got the idea for the, the EOS. Or maybe the EOS gave them the idea for the Transformers. I'm not sure which came first. I'll check that out. That'd be interesting, actually. So the roof, like I say, operates really nicely. And when, when the roof is up, like, yeah, I can see it on the road, yeah. <laughs> Mate in the corner there with a chainsaw cutting and stood in the road. No high vis on or no anything, high. just, just like, okay. welcome to Cornwall, I'm trimming my edges. <laughs> I'm, trim, I'm trimming my edge, and if you're going to go round me, so be it. <laughs> you're looking to see it. Well, I was looking to see it, it just sort of loomed out the darkness of the hedge. Anyway, that's not to worry, not for you to worry. Um, where were we to? Roof. So we talked about the roof, but the roof is down. The car, I keep on going to change gear, it's an automatic, I've got to get used to that. When the roof is down, the car feels like a proper normal saloon. And it's got a big sunroof as well, so you can have sunroof open. And the sunroof is bigger than most cars, I would say, with a sunroof. And that opens on the total closure and total opening function from the key fob. Absolutely, yes. Which is quite nice when it's been really hot. There's a lot of glass with the sunroof. Yes, there is. That's yes, very true. Yeah. Makes the car quite hot. Right, so um, we're now imbued and having driven. This is my first long drive in the EOS. v done most of the driving. Lever seats are um, quite spacious, they're uh, quite grippy actually. Um, feel, you know, very comfortable in the car. The seats are electrically heated and um, they certainly warm up very, very quickly. In fact, I'm quite looking forward to using them in the winter. Um, so me and V have uh, swapped seats now, and um, I'm in the passenger seat while V drives. We've got the roof up now, and as you can see, it becomes a totally different car. You know, it's just like any normal saloon. We do have a sizable sunroof, as you can see there. So if you don't want the roof down, you got a sunroof and you can open that up completely. So we've got a lovely big sunroof there. And we also have a spoiler. Comes up and stops the noise of the um, sunroof. You know, um, typical VW has a, like a whoa, 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 whoa sort of sound um, with sunroofs. And that spoiler there is apparently designed to stop it. We'll soon find out because as soon as we go out now, V's going to go down this road and we'll see if it does stop it. Let's have a listen. So we'll pull it down. Oh. Yeah, it's a definite difference in noise. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so yep. an on-off switch. Yeah, now I'm going to not talk now and I'm going to do it again. So listen to the noise.
So there you are. That's a definite difference, isn't it? So we'll put the cl we'll close the sunroof again. And there we are. We have the sunroof closed again. Pull the shade across. And that feels just like any saloon car. Inside, if we look around the car, we'll have a better look in the, in the daylight. It's all trimmed in leather. Santa Conso is typically VW. If you look in the back, it is in desperate need of a really good clean and a bit of love inside. The lever, I reckon the lever hasn't been cleaned. Probably, it's 11 years old, and I reckon the lever has not been cleaned in maybe seven. <laughs> it's very dry and it does need some cleaning. Performance wise, you know, it's, it's quite happily at 17 mile an hour all day long. This VW EOS, it came out originally in 2006. So it's aging now for a car. This is obviously the facelift model. This is the, um, the Mark II, and this particular model was, uh, is a 2011. There are a few little bits and pieces that we'll need doing to it. Um, I've noticed the um, windscreen washer light remains on. Um, although I've checked the windscreen washer fluid this morning and it's okay. So that's the, one of the little tasks I'm gonna have to attend to. It's probably a sensor, but I, I'd imagine it is probably a sensor, um, dirty wire, maybe even a fuse, I, I don't know, but we'll, we'll look into that and see if we can't find it out. And um, I will do that as a little video at some stage. Now, what do we think of the car? This is a car that both myself and V are going to be using. It's, um, the idea is we're going to go down to one car, a bike in the van. So the Beetle had a go. Um, we don't think it would be reliable enough long term. So that's got sold really easy. And we've gone with the EOS. Now, we picked it up, like I say, needing a few little jobs. Um, but, on the whole, it drives really quite nicely. Um, it feels very much like my Passat, to be perfectly honest. I've got a 2 litre Passat B8, which, as I said, will be up for sale now. Um, but it drives very nicely. It's, it feels... We've taken it on a few uh, trips now. We've done a couple hundred miles. I would imagine we've driven probably about six, seven hundred miles in it already. And it's definitely feeling a nice car to have, especially at the moment. You know, we got the sun out. You know, it's been a really long, hot summer so far. And um, I say long, hot summer. It's only June. But we've had a couple of weeks of really good sunshine now. And if you're in the UK, you'll know what I'm on about. Um, it really is unusual to have this warm, hot weather this early. But we're not complaining. So we're gonna take the car out now. We're gonna go for a little drive and uh, to a place, I think, down by the river. And hopefully what we'll do is we'll um, take some shots of it, talk about it. But for the moment, we're just gonna drive. So we're going to go down to a place called Houghton Key. Um, I've gone down there in a previous video, I believe, when we had a Mark 6 Golf, Mark, Mark 8 Golf, to try out. So um, you may have seen it in a previous video. It's quite a pr pretty picturesque place. Not too far from where we live, which is nice.
Cornwall is beautiful at this time of year, isn't it? Yeah, you took the wrong turn in, then, guys. Oops. Yeah, bad drive in a minute. And you'll notice how quiet it is in the cab. I've got the roof down the top as well for drive, and we're only doing 30 mile an hour, 30, 40 mile an hour. And like I said to you earlier, um, we have come down here before um, when we were test driving the Mark 8 Golf, um, but that don't matter. It's a beautiful location, relatively unknown, uh, especially by people outside the area. You don't get very many tourists down here. So have a look around. Okay, this particular model is um, a two litre TDI. You can see it's a um, quite a tidy filled engine bay. Looks very similar to the um, Caddy I had before and very similar to the Passat. So it's a standard layout. Needs a little bit of cleaning under there, but that will come. Just for those of you who are interested, you got your fuses under there, you got your battery there. That's your air box, your oil filler, your dipsticks there, that's your fuel filter. There is your water bottle. Now you can see it's absolutely full. It's telling you about, you know, like you can see that. It's absolutely full and we've got a light on. So um, we've got to find out why the light's on and maybe, no, I'm looking, I'm looking down through and you can see it's full all the way down. It's not a blockage or anything silly like that. There's your header tank for your radiator. We're going to do quite a bit of work on this EOS over the coming weeks. Um, later on today, I will be fitting auto headlights. And you'll notice I've already fitted a new stereo. This particular model is fitted with a wind deflector. We've actually bought that extra. It does make an immense amount of difference, although Obviously, you can't have anybody sat in the back if you've got the wind deflector up. They do do a standard VW one, which folds in half as well, and they fit in the boot. Now, talking of the boot, it's interesting to know where all that roof goes, isn't it? And can you use the boot when you've got the roof down? Well, let me show you. So there we are. There's the roof, as you can see. And you have all that space in behind. And funnily enough, there's a little clue to a future video there. And give to top box. Now, that might mean I've just bought a bike. So you have to uh, subscribe to the channel to find out if I have or not. I bet you many people don't see that anymore, do they? Xbox 360. It's complete. Never been used. So that's what it looks like with the roof down, with the boot open. Now, obviously, that's the rear windscreen. And then you've got the roof compartments. Okay, I said to you that the car looked like a bit like a transformer. So let's show you the transformer in action.
amazing, isn't it, when you watch it happen? When the windows go up, the actions are complete. Let me just show you the reverse of the action from a different angle. I just absolutely amazed every time I see it happen. Well, there's me saying it's uh, quite a quiet spot to come down to, and as we um, move on through the morning, people are coming down here for a dinner and enjoy the sunshine by the river. So um, I think this is at the point where we're going to make a move and go on somewhere else. Maybe we'll um, take a, a trip up to Kit Hill and have a little look up there, maybe fly the drone up there around the car. Uh, we'll see. Let's have a one last look here. It looks far better when the tide's in, so we'll try and come down here again when the tide's in. You don't see all the mud. So beautiful is this, eh? Little secret bit of Cornwall. I would say, if you're fancying a convertible, but you don't want a, a soft top convertible, and you want something that's a little bit different maybe, you don't want the standard Mercedes, uh, I'm trying to think what other metal top convertibles are. You do want a big Tiguan or, you, or a Range Rover convertible. Uh, this, for the money, is an excellent car. And there's lots of people lowering them, putting spoilers, doing, doing all sorts of bits and pieces to them. Um, we won't be doing anything like that. We all have a few little bits of niceties to them. You know, we'll put all, all dimming lights on. Um, auto zooming lights, we'll put auto lights on it. Um, we've just, I've literally just fitted a, a decent stereo to it today. Um, we'll have reversing camera and a dash cam. That's probably all we'll do. If you've enjoyed this video and it's uh, made you think about buying an EOS, why not give the video a like? And if you want to see more about the EOS and uh, how we get on with it, subscribe to this channel. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Look after yourselves. See you later. Bye.